Welcome to Creativity TV. On today's show, do crafts designer Jo Austin shows us how to get the most out of the fabulous new X-Cut nesting dies with a really gorgeous floral embellishment. Let's take a look. Today I'm just going to show you how to use the new dies from X-Cut. Now these are the nesting dies, which I've got here, just to show you in the packet. And what I'm going to use are the circle dies to create this little flower here. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. And then I'm going to use the door plate dies and the rectangle dies to create this side of the card. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just take out the rectangle die that I need. And I'm going for the second largest one from the packet. And I've just cut a piece of spotty paper. Now this is going to create the background. So I'm just going to pop that onto my big shot. And I'm going to put it cutting side down onto my paper so I can see exactly where I've positioned it. And I'm just going to run it through. So what that then gives me is the outline section. So I'm going to pop that back onto my big shot again. And this time I'm going to use the door plate dies. Now I want to create a little frame with these as well. So to create the frame, what I'm going to do is take one of my shapes and I need to cut an aperture on the inside of this little section here. And I want it more over to one side so my flower will fit. So I've just laid it again down, cut inside downwards, and again I'm just going to run that back through and that's cut our little aperture. So I'm going to take two sizes of my door plate that fit really nice and snugly inside each other. Now the X-cut nesting dies actually come with a magnetic sheet. Now it has got two sides to it. You've got a slight textured side and a really flat side. We need to be putting the slight textured side facing upwards so it's going to grab onto your dies. Now I love the fact that you've got a magnetic sheet in with your packet because what that enables us to do is to lay your dies together in such a fashion it's going to hold it nice and firmly in place. When we put it through the big shot it's going to cut it and they're not going to move which is a real advantage. So I'm going to take a little bit of green card and this is what I'm going to use for my frame and I'm going to pop it over the top of the die. I'm going to bring the other plate, pop it on the top just to keep everything nice and tight and I'm going to run this through the big shot. So there we go, when we take it off the die, let's pop it out. You can see there we've got this little frame. Now what you can do at that point if you wanted to is to flip it over and put a little piece of funky foam on the top and that will emboss it for you. But because you've got the magnet, it does a little bit of embossing anyway. Okay, so what we're going to do with this little frame now is I'm just going to take one of my white gel pens and I'm just going to dot just around the inside edge where you can see the little ridge line. And when you've finished dotting it, it'll look something like this. Now I've done a little red layer on there and just punched it out with a border. And then I've put a green layer on the top. That's the same colour as my little frame. The little shape that we cut out earlier on, I've put a little piece of white card behind it and I've just attached some letters and some gems. So this is just going to stick onto the top of the green panel and then we're going to take the little frame and I'm just going to put some adhesive on there and just attach that over the top. So what I'm going to show you now is how to create this little flower. Now I love the fact that in the nesting dies you've got lots of different size circles that you can just scrunch together to make a nice bloom. So what I'm going to do now is just cut another couple of circles so again we're going to just use the die on a piece of card and we're going to cut another one exactly the same size and this is going to create the little circle we can use to mount your flower on when we start to put it all together. So these are the little circles that we've cut and I've got a range of different sizes there. Now to shape the petals all we're going to do is just give it a little bit of a crinkle on the edge and to create the petals all I'm going to do is to make a little hole just in the centre. So when we start to put them together, I've got a little brad and I'm going to start with the smallest circles and just thread them onto my brad. Now as I thread them onto my brad, I'm going to gather it around and just hold it in place nice and tightly. So then I'm going to just go on with the second layer. So this is your second size circle and again just crumple it up in exactly the same fashion. Now your third one. And this is going to create the inside part of your bloom, so you really need some nice scrunching going on in there to get some really nice distressed texture. So the little petals for the outside of your flower, I've done it exactly the same way, scrunched it around, but this time what we're going to do is we're just going to fold it over into a V-shape, keeping the red facing to you. So you've got the little white edges coming up. I've got another little circle there, 
which I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive on, which is just going to enable me to mount all those little flowers. So when we start to mount your flowers up, we're going to just pop them opposite ways. And then we're going to start to fill in the gaps. So they just sit next to each other on that little circle. And now what we can do is take the middle part of your flower and just put it through that little section there. And again, just give it a little scrunch. And then we can just open the very center of that flower so you can see your black brad. Now the little flower we've created, the brad's shut on the back so it's just going to keep it all nice and tidy. And I'm just going to take a couple of your foam pads and just put those on so it will mount onto your card. This is just going to sit at one side and just finish your card off really nicely. I love this flower. I wonder if Joe would make me one in felt for my outfit. Oh, I should think so. Big bold flowers are really great for scrapbooking layouts too. Why not try adding a little bit of glitter for a more sparkly look or perhaps some vellum layers for a really floaty effect? Creativity Club member Georgina Sweetenham has sent us in some projects and she's used the nesting dies. On this one, Georgina has used a very similar layering technique as Joe. It's really beautiful. Don't forget you can find details of all the projects featured in today's episode here in the Creativity Club at docrafts.com. And if you get to use the nesting dies, why don't you send me your projects? Send them to tv at docrafts.com. Until then, happy crafting! <laughs> <laughs>